Good afternoon. I wa just wanted to do one last lesson for you today. I wanted to get some math in, and I'm sorry that it is a little bit later, um, but um, because I started late in the day, instead of doing the first half of the day, I did the second half of the day. So I want to get in some math, and I was planning to do a graphing lesson live today with you and the other classes, um, but um, because of my appointment, I missed it, and I'm sorry about that. So I was thinking I'm still going to do that lesson on my next live. So instead, I'm going to do this graphing lesson, which is um, which is the one that we do in class. We haven't done in a while because we haven't had the news to you. But now that we do, I want to I want to do that with you. Okay, I want to show you what this lesson is all about. So let me read the instructions to you. Graphing. Okay, graphing. One, count the number of symbols in each row. Place that number in the last column. Two, answer the questions about the graph. Okay, so this is a little bit like the lessons that we do from our unique lessons, the reading this chart or reading this graph. Um, we, do, we look at pie charts and bar graphs and pictographs. Um, and then we answer questions about it. We have to count how many people like this or how many people have this. Um, and then we answer the questions. And that's what this is doing. This is like a pictograph, which means it's pictures um, representing how many, how many items they counted of each thing. Okay, so we need to count the symbols in each row, the pictures, and then answer. And then um, so we'll put the numbers here and then we'll answer the questions about the graph. So let's see what the pictures are character okay this is a character like a character from a movie so the star with the face in it is a character from a movie okay the next word or symbol is soul soul and that's a little bit harder to explain but a soul is something that people have like their spirit so this is a picture of somebody's soul or spirit okay and then the next one voice voice okay um the voice is somebody talking okay and then the next picture? piano piano how many pianos okay and then the next one movie movie okay so we're gonna count each picture so first we're gonna count characters how many characters are there let's count one two three four five Okay, there are five characters. So you can, um, if you have the paper, you write the number five. If you are doing this um, uh, this um, activity digitally, which you can, if you have access to the Unique Online, you can um, just put that number in. So five is how many characters we have. Five. Okay, now the next one is soul. How many souls do we have? One. Two. Okay, there are two souls. So we move the number two into that one. Two. Oops, that is correct. Two. I just almost put it in the wrong, the wrong box. Okay, and voice. How many voices do we have? Let's count the pictures. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, there are six voices, so drag the number six, six to the box. Okay, and now pianos. Let's look at the pianos and count them. And let me zoom in a little. It's hard to see the pictures. One, two, three, four, four. There are four pianos. So let's put the number four in this box. Okay, and let's count the last symbols, which is movie. How many movies are there? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there are five movies, so let's let's move the number five into the box. Okay, there's five. Now let's read the questions. One, 
Which word has the most symbols? Okay, which one has the most symbols? Okay, now you can either look at the numbers, which one is the biggest number here on this column, or you could look at the pictures and just tell by looking, okay, which picture has the most? The most, okay. Is it character? Well, no, I see there's a picture that has more. Okay, is it soul? Nah, that one just has a little bit. Is it voice? I think maybe it's a voice, okay. There's six voices, <clears throat> sorry. And I don't see a number more than six. So let's see. Let's see what our choices are. Is it movie, voice, or soul? I think it's voice. Voice has the most symbols. Voice. Okay, voice is correct. That has the most symbols. Now the next one. Fewest. The fewest. Two. Which word has the fewest symbols? Okay, which word has the fewest symbols? The smallest number, okay? Five, two, six, four, or five. Okay, or look at the pictures. We know that voice is the most, so the fewest. We're looking. I think these pictures, are, which are what? Soul. Soul has the least amount. They only have two. two two and that there's none less than that so i think is it piano piano no is it soul soul yes soul has the fewest symbols okay now number three three what is the highest number okay which some num uh, symbol has the highest number okay well we know that voice is has the most symbols so i think that also has the highest number but let's see we have five, two, six, four, or five. What's the highest number there? Is it four? Four. No, it's not. Is it five? Five. No, it's not. Is it six? Six. Six is the highest number. So what's the... Four. What is the lowest number? What is the lowest number? Okay. Is it two, six, or five? Okay, well, we see soul is the fewest, and that also has the lowest number, which is two. Two. Okay, and the last question. Five. Do any words have the same number? Okay, do any of the words have the same number? Okay, and this is yes or no. Do we see there's five, two, six, four, and five? Well, I do see two fives, so the two words have the same number, so I say yes. Yes. Okay, so that is our graphing lesson for today, our math. So hopefully I will all be back in school tomorrow, and I will see you all tomorrow, okay? But I'll let you know. Bye.